Hey guys, Dr. Ben here, Functional Medicine Centers. Welcome. Is it time for a second opinion? And this is something that so many people wonder about. And when we see people in the office, when we see patients come in and they're like, man, I, I just have not been getting the results. I've been everywhere. I've tried everything and I'm just not getting the success with my health, not getting my health back. Is it time for a second opinion? So I'm going to go through some things today and give you ideas on when you should go get a second opinion. And not not just a second opinion from another neurologist, another endocrinologist, another person in that field, but somebody even looking outside of that model. So here we go. When should you get a second opinion? The first place that you look for a second opinion is when your doctor or practitioner starts to cover up your symptoms. And so where would this be? This could be with sleep. So let's say you have a sleep issue and your doctor or practitioner is giving you um, any type of ambient, if they're saying take this sleep aid, if they're taking melatonin, any of these things where you're covering up that symptom of sleep, it's time for a second opinion. It's time for a second opinion to figure out why you're not sleeping like you need to. There are very big reasons: blood sugar imbalances, adrenal issues, all types of different things. So you need to be able to uh, figure out the why you're not getting good sleep. Then we get into. Uh, if your blood pressure is high, if your blood pressure is high and your doctor puts you on one, two, three, a lot of people have multiple blood pressure medications and you are not getting to the underlying why and you're not fixing somebody's triglycerides and insulin resistance and blood sugar imbalances and all these different things, then it is time for a second opinion. You should not just be trying to cover up that high blood pressure. If you have blood sugar imbalances, if you have PCOS, if you have insulin resistance, uh, prediabetes, diabetes, any of these things and your doctor puts you on metformin, puts you on glucophage, some type of blood, blood sugar medication, it's time for a second opinion. That is not going to fix anything. You need to figure out the why. You need to reverse this reversible condition of blood sugar imbalance, whether it's full-blown diabetes all the way down to insulin resistance and fatty liver. Um, if somebody is giving you a medication uh, for a brain issue, if they're saying, hey, you have depression, you have anxiety, any of those things, if somebody is giving you a medication for those and not looking at the underlying why and not fixing that underlying why, then you need to uh, get a second opinion and you need to go get a brain map. You need to talk to somebody else that is going to fix the underlying reasons for that problem. Uh, if you're dealing with any other type of energy issue, thyroid issue, any of these energy endocrine disruptors, you need to not just take more thyroid medication. You don't just need to uh, go to the, the natural food store and get some adrenal energy boosting supplement. That's not going to fix you either. You need to get to the underlying why. You need to get a second opinion. You need to look in depth into your hormones, into your inflammatory markers, into your fatty liver, into what your blood sugar and insulin and all these different things are doing in your blood work and then you can make a rationalized decision on what to do next, where to go, how to change what is going on. So if you are having issues and you're not able to get to the underlying why, if someone just keeps giving you medications or even if you're in the natural world and somebody just keeps giving you supplements, it is time for a second opinion. So uh, I'm, I'm here to encourage you to do that. We have our offices in Fort Collins, our offices in Phoenix, Arizona, and we work with patients all over the country, all over the world. I just got a message from somebody in Texas this morning. I uh, got a, a message from another lady up in Wisconsin. So not a big deal to work remotely with people, but you've got to take action and you've got to take responsibility for your health. So I encourage you to jump in, ask these questions, ask the doctor, do you have anything else for me besides covering up these symptoms? If they do, great, let's try it. If not, you've got to get a second opinion. You've got to get going forward in that process. So, all right, everybody, make it a great day. Uh, make sure you're getting to the underlying root cause of what is going on with your issues, and that is the functional medicine approach. Take care, everybody.